Hey everybody, it's Pilot Pelican, and we're back again with another Pokemon Nuzlocke Crystal... Uh, Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke. I'll get it right here in a minute. <laughs> um, here we are in the, I believe it's Azalea Town. Um, Poke Center. Today, here we have Rotato, Mellow Yellow, O'Reilly, Bruce, Omelette, and Spooks. Um... Let's see, uh... What should we do? Let me see... What potions... What potions... Alright. Oh! Would you look at that? We ran into a rival. Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? What? You beat them? Ha! Huh, quit lying. You're not joking? Then let's see how good you are. Alright, so we're fighting... Uh, rival, well, what did I name him? Bert. Rival Bert. And he has a Gastly. It's not necessarily good for us. Um, our Brotato is a bit underleveled for this, and I should not have done that because, guess what? Tackle is not going to fade Ghost Eyes. Uh, let's see who we can go to instead. Uh, let's start at Mellow Yellow. Um, because I don't want to use Mellow Yellow to fight his, uh, starter, so I'll use it for everything but the starter. Uh, because he has a Fire-type starter, uh, he might be a cool lava by now. Uh, we'll see. Wow, this is high. Special defense with your poison powder. Some additional damage on this thing. Let's speed this up a little. There we go. Let's switch Pokemon. Um, who should we use? The Zubat. He's O'Reilly. Really. Put it to sleep and then peg it to death. There. Uh, and yeah, it is a quill lava. That's not good for us. Well. It's only level 16, I, I'll put it to sleep. Please don't kill O'Reilly. Okay, good. Wow. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, another Ember. Oh, this is not smart on my part. Whew. Yes, put it to sleep. Okay, let's switch out. I'm not gonna risk losing O'Reilly. Um... So we're gonna go into Bruce because he can take embers all day long. Let's see. Rock throw. I believe rock throw will be super effective, right? Let's see. Yeah, I'd say that's super effective. <laughs> yeah. All right. Like one more rock throw, and we're good to go. All right. A oh, really level. Oh, got a bunch of experience off of that one. And Bert was defeated. Humph, <laughs> uses Pokemon. Listen, you. You only won because my Pokemon were weak. Yeah, that is why I won. So, I hate the weak. Well, hate yourself. <laughs> Pokemon trainers, it doesn't matter who or what. I'm going to be strong and wipe out the weak. That goes for Team Rocket, too. They act big and tough in a group, but then get them alone, and they're weak. I hate them all. You stay out of my way. A weakling like you is only a distraction. Good grief, what a loser. Man, such a sore loser. Which if he's playing by Nuzlocke rules, which we're gonna assume he is, all of his Pokemon were just brutally murdered, so... I guess he's right to be kind of, a Kind of, uh, cranky when it comes to losing. Yeah. Ah, oh, no! Uh, so we leveled up O'Reilly, and I guess we're gonna catch another Pokemon in this episode. Let's see. Who should we put up for Brotato is good enough to catch a Pokemon, sure. Ilex Forest. Let's go on, what do you have to say? Oh man, my boss is gonna be steaming. The farfetch that cuts trees for charcoal took off on me. I can't go looking for it here in Ilex Forest. It's too big, dark, and scary for me. I'll go get it. This looks like pink 
toilet paper rolls. I think I mentioned that already in another video, but it just does. And we have a chance to get your Metapod. It's the first one we've met in Ilex Forest. Let's tackle it. Alright. Speed tackle. Alright, that'll be good enough. I don't think their catch rate is that. Whoa. Okay, doop, doop. No! <laughs> Forget, let's just do this great ball. Wow! Okay, tackle it again until we get it to red. Okay, I think that's enough. Enough tackling for this metapod. Um, we have two Pokeballs left, so... Hopefully this will do. Come on. Are you kidding me? This metapod is uncatchable. I got an idea. Since he can't attack back. I will switch to O'Reilly, which it wouldn't matter because 10 levels higher. But anyway, O'Reilly put him to sleep, and if this is, if we put him to sleep and that doesn't catch him, this Metapod doesn't need to be messed with anyway, and I think it'd be considered cheating if we used it, because that's just ridiculous that we can't catch this thing. Okay, a sleeping Metapod at red health. If one Pokeball does not catch this, I'm gonna be very upset. Are you kidding me? Strongest Metapod that has ever lived. You don't want to mess with this Metapod. I'm out of Pokeballs. It looks like we're not catching any Pokemon this episode, actually. Ah, uh, because Metapod is apparently a beast. <sighs> I don't know. I'm sure, we kind of got the Caterpie earlier. No! We get the invincible, uncatchable Metapod. It's like the I don't know Houdini of Pokemon. I don't know what's going on with that. That's ridiculous. Um, let's buy a few potions, super potions, and we'll be on our way. Move it, old man. Let's rush through this forest. Beat it, Caterpie. Be cool if I caught a Paris. Do some leveling up whilst. Revive those are worthless because they shouldn't exist while we're doing another one. <laughs> right? I don't know. Sure. Um. There. Well, I think it's a whole bunch. My boss's Pokemon won't obey me because I don't have a badge. Well, I have badges. Ah, my Farfetch'd. You found it for us, kid. Without it, we wouldn't be able to cut trees for charcoal. Thanks, kid. Now, how can I thank you? I know. Here, take this. And that is HM for cut. And then, something that's really cool. This would be better if we had cool lava, but hopefully we'll catch a fire Pokemon sometime. If you talk to the leader who somehow... I'm sorry, not the leader, but the boss of the charcoal people uh, that somehow beat us back here he'll uh, give you something else won't he I think there. no this guy does it I believe charcoal right it boosts the, the charcoal moves which is really good it does help quite a bit um, unfortunately we have no fire types um, Hopefully we make it through this before I have to call it quits. Who should we teach cut to? Looks like we only have one option. <laughs> really don't like that though. Alright, I'm going to be right back and check my box and see if I have any better uh, cuttable, cutting Pokemon. One moment. Alright, we got a better Pokemon to learn cut, and it is Gangster, the Reddit. No, I'm sorry, Gangster, the Bell Sprout. Um, I traded O'Reilly out for Gangster since it was over leveled, it didn't need any training. So, anyway. 
Um, let's go ahead and fight it. Alright, let's get out of here. Wow! Alright. Like, Joe to the land of the pink toilet paper rolls. Uh, just tackle, tackle, tackle. Okay. Actually, let's put omelet up front. Okay, let's start. I'm gonna start cutting these battles. All right, back from that. Metapod. I'm not gonna fight it. Metapod scare me badly now. Ever since that last Metapod, that really just wiped out all my Pokeballs. And I believe he gives you the team for Edbud, which will need to catch some Pokemon at some point. Um. Alright, I'm gonna uh, cut this back. Can't do all these battles. I'll just do some off-screen training. Sorry about that. Um, let's see. Yikes! Get out of there, Togepi. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I just throw somebody in there. We gotta get through this thing. Um, there we go. Right. Ooh, nearly! <laughs> Alright, we're out of the Alex Force. Sorry about having to rush that, but... Um... I guess we'll cut it off here. Right through these doors, up at the top of the screen here is the doors to Goldenrod City. Uh, they have a huge department store and radio station and a subway type station. Uh, and then, uh, that's really all the, the big things I have also is in, there's a park inside of here but uh, we'll get that to that next episode and I believe on this next route we can catch our new Pokemon. Uh, the route that's right beyond these doors that leads to Goldenrod City. So next episode we should, um, get some stuff done. I'm level up some, maybe do some off-screen training before, uh, next video. But we will see you about that next time. And I guess I'll see you later. Bye.